my goodness, I am so glad to be here on this day, not because I'm excited about this product, but because I know it's just been such a, a saver, a lifesaver for so many of us. I will say this, this EcoFlow, this is the incredible Delta. This is the really powerful 2000 watt model, and it's gonna literally give you the ability to power up 99% of all the appliances that you have in your home, not just your phones and your tablets, all the little easy stuff. We're talking about you know, microwaves and refrigerators. We're talking about all the things that do require a lot of power, lights and lamps and fans, portable air conditioning units for per, perhaps. Whatever you need, when that power goes out, you've got the ability to power it back up without having to you know, go to the garage and fill it up with gas and make sure it's got the right oil and be scared of it because it's loud and it's heavy and you can't even get it indoors. Did you see how easy you can take this from your car to a campsite, for example, which is truly something that we have done more than have to use it in the event of an emergency, which I am very happy and thankful for. Um, I do own this product. I've had it for several years. I bought it way back when we introduced EcoFlow at HSN. In fact, I believe I did introduce this brand and I did so much research on the brand because there were other options out there and I wanted to see where Eco fell in that category of good, better, best, right? EcoFlow was named top of the list when it comes to power, reliability, price, all the things that you want to compare against. So I'm really thrilled to be here today because out of all these years, I think we've been doing this for five years, this is the biggest, the best bundle we've ever done. In the past, when I got my EcoFlow, I had to buy a solar panel separately. I bought them, but I had to spend a couple hundred dollars to get the backup plan, which is the solar panels, meaning the sun is gonna give you power. Even if you lose power in your home and you've got all the power that's been drained from the EcoFlow, which will take a long time. But look at what you'd have to spend if you didn't get it bundled like it is today, $350. I mean, that's a pretty penny. You don't have to spend any more. You get it and you get the EcoFlow itself. As a matter of fact, the EcoFlow, my gosh, just the EcoFlow alone, you're gonna be spending $15.99. So out of the gate, you're sp saving $400 on just the actual Delta, the Delta Max 2000, which is the most powerful of the Deltas. And you're literally saving that $350 on the solar panel because it's included and for the first time, we're even including the power strip. It's another $40, but what's great about it is it gives you two, four, six, eight additional plugs, and it gives you four additional USB ports in addition to what's already included on the EcoFlow Delta. I'll show that to you over here because it's literally loaded around the whole system. You've got ports galore. You can include 13 different items. You can plug them all in simultaneously and have them running, up and running. There's so many of us that, gosh, think about the money you could save by not having to restock the refrigerator if your power has been out for more than two days. I mean, think about that, the freezer full of meat and full of all the things that we spend our pretty pennies on to make sure that our family is fed. Power outages are not fun. They're so stressful, they're so scary. Everybody's like freaking out. And it's so nice to know, for me, that I've got the backup plan. It sits right in my garage. It doesn't take up a whole corner section of the garage. It's literally the most compact, quiet, convenient, and portable systems that you can find out there. So I'm really, truly delighted to be here today because it is something that I think every home absolutely should have. You really need a backup plan. If you've got yours, good for you. If you have a family member who doesn't yet, have them tune in or consider sending it to them so you know that they're gonna be taken care of in the event of a power outage. Justin Hyatt is joining us. You look good in glasses. Thank you. Yeah. Makes me look smarter. <laughs> you're a smart guy. And I know you, I know you're a boat dweller, uh, and certainly you've, been, you've lived in different dwellings yeah. over the years, but there's so many of us that find ourselves in that terrifying position of like, here we go. What am I gonna do now? A lot of us think one day I'm, I'm gonna get that backup plan. Well, Make that day today. Yeah, I always say the best time to prepare is today. Yeah. You know, because we never know what's going to happen tomorrow. We've seen what's been happening even just recently. We see what's happening right now in California. You mm -hmm. were just talking about yeah, that. Yeah, my friend Patricia. Uh, a lot of our EcoFlow team is being affected by the hurricane oh, that's sitting up, up there. there. It's a, such a rare occurrence. It it's is. hard to think, well, we need to get prepared to that, for that. But you need to get prepared for the unknown. And I always say it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. But I'm not going to just say that. I'm going to say... Think about those whens. 
You remember when we were out of power? Mm -hmm. How those stories that we have, mm -hmm. how do you want to go through those types of power outages in the future? If you have not been able to have a power source, which most of you, if you live in apartment or condo, have not had an option, guess what? Now you do. Now you finally can kind of take control. I live in an apartment and condo. We have a generator. Well, that generator is meant for the elevator and for hallway lights. That's it. Good point. You know, and we think about apartment dwellers, you're relying on the management to yeah. figure out how to get power because you're like, you're just at somebody else's beck and call. Like you Correct. don't have any choice. Yep. And oftentimes I don't think generators are even allowed out on balconies because if they're gas powered, it's a hazard. You can't, uh, you can't own one in an apartment or condo. Right. You can't have gas <laughs> stored right. in an apartment. You know, one of the things um, I was told, you can't even really store gas in a lot of places in California. Uh, because of the That's wildfires true. and all of that. So uh, there's just so many of us across the whole entire country that there, we have all different variables in our lives. We've got different variables in our homes, whether it's ourselves and not, whether it's for health purposes that we need to think about. Well, I rely on an oxygen machine. I rely on a dialysis machine. I have a CPAP machine at home. If you have all of those different devices or one of those different devices, you need to have a backup plan. And so it's always, mm -hmm. do you have a plan? And if you don't have a plan, today's a great day to consider because you were just talking about we launched EcoFlow five years ago. Yep. When we did that, you could only power 80% of your home appliances with our power stations. Today, we can power 99% of your home appliances with our Delta Max. And that this is, is only one of two that we can say that that's way. That's a good point, because there are different models that we've offered over the years. But when you think about 99% of the appliances, we're not just talking about the little, like, oh, the little handheld yeah. fans and all yeah. the cute little you know, tablets and the phones that we need. A washing machine? I mean, microwave ovens, electric drills. I mean, inevitably, you're going to need to power up some of those tools to maybe get rid of some tree branches. TVs, a refrigerator for over 30 hours. That is huge. You mentioned CPAP. I don't have yeah. to use one, but those who do, it's a requirement. It's a necessity. It's a medical it's a necessity. That's just a sampling of all the things that will power because some things require more power than others. Well, we like to show, I mean, just examples. Of course, there's going to be other stuff. You know, one of the things that I always think about too is, you know, if you have one of those new electric water heaters and they have one of those little electric pilots, all you right. need to do is get power to that water oh, heater very to true. get the pilot going. So these are examples that I have, but from customers, and so whether yeah. it's sump pumps, whether it's, you know, for an example, wow, one true. of the things that a lot of people don't even consider, you know, I was using this when we had that hurricane recently, we had to evacuate. Well, I still use my EcoFlow even when I wasn't home because what I did was I used it as an emergency power source. So when you have this EcoFlow at home, you can go ahead and have that connected to, for instance, let's say a fish tank or a refrigerator, and then the EcoFlow connected to your house. So as soon as you lose power, the EcoFlow automatically will kick in within 30 milliseconds and continue to power whatever you've got plugged in. So uh, even when you're not home, EcoFlow can protect all of your different devices. And speaking of different devices, protecting point. your devices, you were just holding on that power strip. We've never done this We've before. We've never done that before. And that's a surge protector. So again, a great way to protect your devices. Now the surge protector is meant not to necessarily be used with this. This is completely you know, it's got its own battery management system, so this is never, ever going to overcharge, overheat. We wanted to give you that little extra value, just another way for you to protect all of your devices, and you can use it in conjunction with your EcoFlow, right now. but it's just nice to know you can have another independent unit to protect so all of your devices So if you just tuned in, here we are, what is it, one o'clock on this coast, it's 10 a.m. on the west coast. A lot of you I know have been busy trying to get prepared and uh, figure out what your, what your plan is. If you need to leave, please do. Be safe, Patricia. Love you, thinking of you. I have a lot of family out there, not family, but friends out there that I consider family. I know how terrifying it is and you need to just do all, all that you can before you leave if you have to, but then to come back to the reality of if you did get damage or if you did most of us lose power during a major storm. Oh, think about my friends in Maui. Uh, it's, it's horrifying what you're dealing with in the aftermath of something. So if, whether you stay and hunker down or you leave and come back, there's always something. And power can be out, as we know, for days on end, sometimes weeks on end. We've heard stories for years, and it's like it gets worse. It's getting worse every year versus getting better. So I think having a backup plan is the right thing to do, which is probably why we are we're probably three quarters of the quantities have been spoken for. It's been way ahead of expectations. At this hour, we don't even have a thousand left 
Over 1,600 units have been ordered. We don't have as many as we do with the Diane Gilman gene, for example. We have literally less than 1,000 to go around for the rest of the day, for the rest of the country. And don't forget, there is no charge to ship. This will be shipped for free, and it's not like it's a lightweight, uh, portable you know, power source. This thing weighs about 47 pounds, so free shipping is a nice savings. This used to be something we'd sell, sell as separately and everybody wanted the extra solar panel because this too is a backup plan to when you drain the power here after hours and hours of, of use. But the sun will power up the solar panels and then you've always got the ability to power up whatever you need. This is a $350 extra any other day. Not today, we're including it today. I, there's been a handful of times that we've done that over the five years of offering EcoFlow. So the, the savings is literally like $800 today versus tomorrow. And I know it's not going to make it through today. So I'm really glad you're with, with us this afternoon or this or late morning if you're on the West Coast. We're going to take a little tour around the studio and show you all the things that you can power here. I hope you heard us say up to 13 devices simultaneously, but up to 99% of the appliances that are in your home. I mean, just to get your coffee maker up and running in the morning after a storm is a little bit of creature comfort that makes you kind of think more clearly. So I'm gonna join Justin over in the kitchen. Join me. You know, it's uh, it's funny because it, you see where some people's priorities lie. It's all a question I always get: Does can it power my coffee maker? <laughs> right. I'm like, that's what and you're worried me, about is your coffee. And then for me, it's. Can it power the blender so I can make some margaritas at the end of and a yes, stressful it can. day? It can do that. Can. <laughs> I should have had the blender here. Um, you know, the nice thing is, is that we get to be in the, in the house, in the studio. You know, if this was a gas generator, we, were never, we wouldn't be able to run it. True. So we wouldn't even be able to do what I'm going to show you right now is to actually put it to the test and show you. You know, we show all the graphics, but it's nice when we just say, here, let me show you exactly how long it's going to run something for. So here's the, the real kind of out-of-box experience. One touch of a button. That's it, that's all you gotta do. If this was a gas generator, one, we gotta lug the thing out of the garage. We've got to get gas. Well, how much gas can you store? And gas stations run out of gas really quickly. And it's $4 a gallon. Mm -hmm. It's $4 a gallon here. How much gas can you store? The gas, you know, and that's one of the things you know, we always experience, and now I'm sure a lot of people in California are experiencing is mm -hmm. the gas goes quickly, not only when you're running it, but the gas stations run out of gas because everybody's trying to get gasoline. Yeah. Well, day, the day yeah. of or the day after, nobody's got gas. I know. So it's what are you going to do? Here is a full display, 99 representing 99 hours, 100 representing 100%. And over here, you're gonna notice when I start plugging everything in, this is gonna show me the wattage that is being used. Uh, below that though, is gonna be all the USB ports. Now you're not getting this just to power up your phone, not just to power up your small devices. This is meant to just give you an example that you can do all of that while still powering all of your large appliances as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spin it around. You can keep that same shot because here we've got all of those six different AC outlets, three prong individual AC outlets. This is your refrigerator, this is your microwave, this is your air fryer, this is your hot plate, this is your margarita maker, <laughs> this is your coffee machine. You have all of these. If you've ever seen a gas generator, propane generator, you get about two, maybe three AC outlets. You get six AC outlets on this. This little door right here, I'm gonna open that up so you can see. This is how you recharge it, plug it into the AC out, uh, wall outlet, and it's the fastest recharge rate in the whole industry. So from zero to about 80% in 65 minutes. Right here is where you plug your solar panel in. And one of the cool things about this unit, which not all of our power stations will do, I can do both of these simultaneously. What does that mean? I can have it plugged into the wall and solar panel plugged into it as well and charge it even faster mm. than just plugging it into the AC outlet. So I just wanted to show you that so you guys can get an example of what I'm plugging it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the light in right here. And we can spin it around. Do you want to show the ports on the side real quick? I don't mind. Uh, is that what you were about yeah, to do? Yeah, I want you to see all the ports. Well, here, so those two ports before I even plug everything in. These ports on the side. Is oh, these, yeah. Those, so that is really cool. So when you pick this up, it's a 2,000 kilowatt battery, which is why we say it's the Delta Max 2000. Do you see that graphic they just popped up? That is for the extra battery. And by the way, we have less than 500 to go around. Most people since midnight have gotten an extra battery. Tell us why we should. Well, here's why. 
because if you want to double your power or even triple your power, all you have to do is pick up that extra battery. You can run a refrigerator for 30 hours. Here, I'll help you out with this Thank one. Thank you. <laughs> My hands aren't quite long enough. 30 hours for a refrigerator. How about 60 hours? How about 90 hours on a refrigerator just 